This is um, an incredibly important election, particularly for women. And uh, I think it's important that women understand what's at stake in November. Uh, it's hugely important. Um, it's not only important because of uh, who we are, uh, John Gregg and Vice Simpson, but it's also important because of who the other team is. And we need, it seems to me, we need a governor who is committed to public education. We need a governor who is committed to uh, access to health care for women, um, particularly access to contraceptives and preventive health care. We need someone who's uh, committed to our children, protecting kids in abusive yes, and neglectful yes, yes. Uh, situations and uh, kids who have um, behavioral and, and, and mental illness issues, they need to be protected. And um, they need mental health care. They don't need to be incarcerated. That's exactly right. Yeah. They need mental health care. And right now they're being incarcerated or getting into the juvenile justice system because because we are not, the state is not providing the wraparound services that kids need in order to stay in their homes, and so they're being left in, in abusive and risky situations, which is uh, really unfortunate. Um, and I think we need a governor that believes in equal pay for equal work, which I think all of us, all of us thought that was the law. Unfortunately, um, it's not. Um, so I. Uh, I think it's important for us to know why we we want to vote for John Gregg for governor, but it's also important to know uh, the other team and what and how they've been voting. Oh, oh, Mike Pence, of course, Congressman Pence, has been in the Congress for 12 years. In that amount of time, he has focused on a social agenda, which in my opinion is radical and extreme. He voted against Equal Pay for Equal Work, the Lilly Ledbetter Act, uh, as well as the uh, Fair Paycheck Act. Uh, he's voted um, twice uh, for the Paul Ryan budget, which cuts Head Start funds and uh, education funds of all kinds. He voted to uh, to he voted against reauthorization of the Children's Health Insurance Program which uh, is a personal favorite of mine <laughs> and um, and he's voted against the violence against women act he's voted uh, he was he uh, was a co-author of uh, congressman aiken's bill on forcible rape and, uh, the, the, we all heard about the legitimate rape right. comment that he made um, but the bill that he introduced actually changed the definition of rape to forcible if the woman didn't fight back, then uh, that those women would not be eligible for any health care services at all under that law. Wow. Uh, it was incredible so and very it's strong. Inhumane. Shocking. It's inhumane. Well, of course it is. Of course it is. I mean, it, there, there's no thought about whether women are uh, feeling threatened, and perhaps that's why they didn't fight. Uh, you know, a knife to their neck perhaps would have uh, kept you from fighting back. Um, yeah, and so he was on that legislation, and of course he made a, a, a name for himself by by wanting to shut down the federal government over the funding of Planned Parenthood. He also supports um, um, he also supports the Personhood uh, Initiative, which would prohibit many kinds of birth control. Uh, would make it illegal. Um, in some cases, might even make miscarriages uh, murder. Uh, under pers personhood uh, initiative. So that's what we're in store for under a Governor Mike Pence. It's really, and really serious. We have, we have a lot at stake. Um, I, and see, I, I really view all of these issues as economic issues for women. Um, women are as concerned about the economy as anybody else, but these are economic issues. I remember a time, and Charlotte, you remember this time when birth control was not re readily available to women. Of course, I, and, I remember uh, that very, very well. <laughs> and it was, um, it, it, it was a hindrance to receiving a college education, for instance. You often had your education interrupted. Uh, because of uh, because of pregnancy, unintended pregnancy, um, it also kept us from having career ladders in uh, in jobs. M employers wouldn't uh, invest time and money in you. If, well, you're going to go off and get pregnant, right? So it, it, that's an economic issue, and certainly access to health care is an economic issue, uh, not only for uh, ourselves but for our children. 
and um, and Congressman Pence was, is opposed to both of those things. So it's this is a this is serious business.